Hey everybody, this is Adam. Welcome back to Adam's Lunch, where a friend send me food as I recover from knee surgery, and I eat that food on camera and review it live in front of all of you tasting it for the first time. We have our first mail submission where someone actually sent me something in the mail for me to eat and review. My friend Parag sent me several bags of Righteous Felon Craft Jerky Biltong. And I'm gonna try one of those bags today. It's gonna to be very exciting, I am excited. Uh, but first we're gonna talk about jerky, beef jerky versus biltong, because there is a bit of a difference. And I'm an expert because before I started this video, I did literally 30 seconds of Googling so I can tell you with authority the difference between beef jerky and biltong. So beef jerky, from my Googling and my years and years of expertise is cut, cooked at a low temperature for a long period of time to dry it out. And so that's how it gets there. Biltong on the other hand is sliced and cut, marinated for a period of time, and then you hang dry it for up to a week for it to dry out. So there's a little bit of difference really in probably the type of meat, but also in how it's created. Also biltong, seems to be from um, South African countries. So that's sort of its, its origin, but it seems to be having a bit of a moment in the United States because there's a lot of biltong that I'm seeing in the beef jerky section, and I've had some other brands of biltong. But what we're gonna have today is Righteous Felon Craft Jerky. We've got three different kinds. I'm just gonna close my eyes because I could not make a decision. And I'm gonna pick one, and the one we're trying today is Biltong Darth Garlic. Biltong with a diabolical dose of black garlic. That is very exciting. Uh, you can see on the front, it's a very cool drawing. The, um, I don't know, they probably call him Darth as a Star Wars reference, maybe, but they probably weren't allowed to actually make him look like Darth Vader. So he just looks like a dark knight from, you know, Renaissance days, I guess. Um, air dried beef. It says Darth Garlic, so there's going to be, yeah, a diabolical dose of black garlic. There's a really long description on the back that I will let you read on your own time. I'm not going to read that all to you. But what we've got in here, beef, red wine, vinegar, salt, ground coriander, black garlic, rosemary, pepper, and monk fruit. I don't know what monk fruit is, but I'm excited about that. So let's open it up. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm. Alright, so we've got the pretty small, thin pieces. Sort of like um if I were to if I were to pull out some like chew, like the that gum that was sort of like fake tobacco, that's sort of what this feels like. Or I guess tobacco. But I don't chew tobacco. Alright. It's chewy, if you couldn't tell. Well, I don't know exactly what to think. It's definitely Biltong, in this case, this Biltong feels dry, not in a bad way. Like it's supposed to be dry. Pretty hard to bite into. The flavor is good. I think I, I think I wanted a little bit more. Maybe my expectations are too high. They did say a diabolical dose of black garlic, so I was just expecting to be punched in the face with garlic, and I'm not. It is a solid flavor though. I don't know. I want to tell you that this is amazing and you should run out and buy it. But I feel like it's it's not as strong of a flavor as I've had with other biltong or just other beef jerky. I'm a little surprised. 
But we've got two other flavors to try that we'll do on a future one. But yeah, I guess I have to say I'm a little surprisingly disappointed. I was very excited. But the Righteous Felon, Kraft Jerky, Biltong, Air Dried Beef, Darth Garlic. Ah, just a little bit, a little bit soft on the flavor compared to what I was expecting. So that's all I got for you today. Definitely would recommend gar Biltong. Definitely love jerky. But maybe hold off before you buy the Righteous Felon crab jerky until I try some of the other flavors to figure out which one is going to be the best. Thanks.